Okay, so let's take a look at how we can fill out this chart. So this is a chart where we're asked to compare the ratio of areas to volumes. Um, for a, It looks like it's for a sphere, and but one of the problems is that we're missing parts of the, um, of the quantities that we're asked to find. So the hint in the question is says to let's go and find the radius first. Okay, so that means um, the radius is the measure in which all those other formulas are required to, um, to be used with. So for the first three, we have the radius. So I'm just going to skip over those and let's look at figuring out what would the number be here if the area was 36 pi, so the middle one. So we're going to figure out how to calculate the radius here. Okay, so given the area, um, we want to find the radius. So we know the area formula is 4 pi r squared. Rearranging this to solve for r means we have to divide both sides by 4 pi. Okay, and then this is going to let us know that the radius is r squared is equal to area over 4 pi, which means that r itself is equal to the square root of the area divided by 4 pi. Okay, so let's go and uh, plug in some of those values here. So if we were to do this question here, we would take um, the area, which is given in the expression of terms of pi, 36 pi, divided by 4 pi, okay, and we have to take the square root of all of that. So when you're doing a question like this, one of the assumptions is, is that you're going to have something that you will be able to take the square root of. Um, so just watch for that. If your number doesn't look like it's going to work out, you, you may have created an error in a previous step. So here the two pi's will cancel, and then we're going to be left with the square root of 36 over 4. So 36 go, 4 goes into 36 9 times, okay, and so that is r is going to be the square root of 9, which is we know is equal to 3. Okay, it won't be negative 3, it's going to be the positive 3 in this case. So that would be the value for our radius. Okay, let's look at another question here where if we were given the volume, um, so this is the one, the sixth one over here, we would want to calculate the radius. So this is the one that we're going to look at doing here. So in this case, um, we need to rearrange the volume formula. So we know volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So now we need to, again, isolate for um, the radius. Now the radius here is a cubed term. So let's just do some movement of the, the variables around here. Uh, we need to bring the 3 up. So that's going to be 3v is equal to 4 pi r cubed. Then we can divide both sides by 4 pi. Okay, and this will leave us an expression where we have r cubed is equal to 3 times the volume all over 4 pi. Okay, now again, we are going to end up taking the cube root in this case to solve for r. So r in this case is going to be equal to the cube root of 3 times the volume all over 4 pi. All right, so let's plug what values we have in here. We know our volume is given in an expression in terms of pi by 6. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit messy here, but we're going to have 3 times the volume, which is pi over 6, and all that is divided by 4 pi. Okay, so we need a, we'll probably have to take a couple of steps here to figure this one out. Um, what you need to do is um, we will multiply... So bring the cube root sign down here. We will multiply 3 times pi. Now that is 3 pi over 6, and then divide the whole thing by 4 pi. All right, so on the side, you might want to just work through this here. We're, we're actually going to take 3 pi over 6 divided by 4 pi. All right, so this means this is 3 pi over 6 times 1 over 4 pi. Okay, so right away we can see if we can cancel some terms here. So the pi will cancel. The 3 um, will go into itself once and into um, 6 two times. So this is going to give us 1 8. Okay, so now we take that over here and we are having the cube root of 1 8 for the radius. And that is equal to 1 half because 2 cubed will give us 8. So again, this term had to work out evenly. So we would have to be able to take the cube root of the number 8. So the radius for this case here is just going to give us one half. So you'll keep working those out um, using those two equations. 
Okay, and that will find you the radius terms for each of those um, boxes there. Now, just be careful. Some of these terms, they should all, you should be able to work them all out exactly. Um, but um, I think a couple of them here, you do get a fraction um, where you'll have to make sure that you go through the steps carefully, um, especially if you're taking the square root of the cube or the cube root of them. So then to fill out the remaining parts of the column, the table, what you need to do here is we're going to calculate area. So we'll go back to column one. And to calculate area, we just need to plug in the value of the radius um, given uh, four times pi times one squared, and that will give us the area of the of this object. So this is the area here is simply going to be four pi, okay, because we're just substituting one in for them. And the volume is going to be very similar. It's just going to be 4 thirds pi. Um, because again, we've just put 1 in for the radius and cubed that. So we're just timesing by 1. So then the ratio, let's do this on the side here. The ratio is just simply um, area to volume. So it's just area over volume. So in this case, we're going to have 4 pi divided by 4 thirds pi. Okay, now again, what makes it a little bit tricky is you have a fraction over a fraction. So in here we will, you can think of this as being 4 pi divided by 4 thirds pi. Okay, and then remember we're going to flip this, so it's 4 pi times 3 over 4 pi. Um, we'll cancel terms what we can, and we're going to see that the ratio here is equal to, oops, um, I made a, just a small mistake here. The pi is actually going to also cancel because it goes on the bottom. And we're going to see that we get an answer here of 3. So that means the ratio of the area to the volume is just equal to 3 or 3 over 1 in this case. So we can put down 3 dot dot 1. Okay, so this is how you would go through the steps of this table. Um, my suggestion is you get some, uh, some scrap paper. Um, when your radius is 5 or 1 third, you're going to have to take it through it carefully so that when you square the fraction or cube the fraction you um, you get the exact um, answers that for the for each of those numbers and just be careful when you do a fraction divided by a fraction remember that you'll have to multiply by the reciprocal of one of them and you should see that in all cases the ratio the pi terms should cancel out Okay, so just watch that little, like even I made that little mistake here where I didn't bring the pi to the bottom. You should see that the terms should cancel out. So if you work through it slowly, you should be able to find out all the answers. Start by going back and finding the radius for each of the missing boxes. And then work across the area column. And then work across the volume column. And then work at dividing them out. Okay, so that's the way that you can get going on this question here.